what's up everybody welcome back to exotic astrology and today we are back with another video on secrets and this time it is again regarding wealth and which way is it that we gain wealth or we lose it and if you have not subscribed to the channel then please subscribe to it down below and if you have any questions queries and comments for this video until you watch it till the end then please let me know or if you want me to make any other video then also let me know today we will see on how to stabilize our income or improve it or increase it because the technique which we are going to discuss today is very easy it's doable it's very practical as you know, I only suggest practical things. For example, which is the house of money? It is the second house, right? Second house is the combined wealth of everything. Of all that we earn and all that we have. Our value system, everything basically. Now, which is the house from which second house is the 11th? Third house? No. Fifth house? No. <laughs> fourth house, right? Because if you count 11 houses from the fourth. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 1, 2. 11 houses. That means when you count the gain of the fourth house, which is what? 11th house. Because 11th house is the house of gains. So gains of the 4th house is the 2nd house. Which is very true because 4th house is the house of your home. So what is the gain of your home ultimately? It's the family, right? Gain of property. Because when you have a family to stay with, then only you consider the property value. Otherwise it's like a haunted place. <laughs> Nobody is staying there, right? And 11th house is also the house of elder siblings. And 4th house is the house of mother. So that means the elder sibling of your mother holds a very important key to your money. Which goes to tell me that we should keep a good relation with the immediate elder sibling of our mother. Now, if our mother is the eldest, that rule doesn't apply because she does not have an elder sibling that time. But in India, generally, it is the terminology used for the sibling of, a, of our mother is mama. Yes, that means if we have a mama or the mother's sister is known as masi. Uh, but I don't know how the system is in different parts of India because in the place from where I am in Assam, the word for uh, elder sister of our mother is different from the younger sister of our mother. So I would leave it to the different customs. But if I go by English, then anybody who is the next immediate sibling of elder sibling of your mother is very important for your wealth. Which clearly indicates that when we improve the relationship with that person, then our relationship with the second house will also improve. Because we are improving the house of money ultimately. And also it is very important that the ultimate agenda of the family is fulfilled. That means we gain the objective of the house, which means 11th from the fourth house which is what the second house of speech money etc and relations which means that when we are staying in home home means it's not just the house house can be any physical place which gives you shelter in the night but home means a place where you feel sheltered because fourth house is the house of shelter fourth house is the house of your 
peace because it's the house of the heart yes heart is also seen from the fifth house and also from the fourth house the internal purity is seen from the fourth house which means that whenever we are staying in a family or in a home that means we should try our best to stay together happily even if that in that means that we have to make a lot of compromises which is very true because every person in the family will have their own rules regulations etc yes everybody will have their own way of doing things or what they think is right what they think is wrong then it becomes a big challenge and that is why these days uh, it it has become very difficult to maintain the families that is why families are breaking apart people are taking uh divorces yes because it is very difficult to stay with 3 4 5 different egos but fortunately in asian countries or in countries like india especially there still the joint family structure is maintained in some parts of the country now what i am saying is the more you benefit the fourth house the more you benefit which houses you are benefiting the trines do you remember the rule which i gave in the last video whenever one house gets affected of a trine which are the trines 1 5 9st house 5th house 9th house second house 6th house 10th house and fourth house 8th house 12th house and third house 7th house 11th house these four are the three trines first one is the dharma trikon second one is the artha trikon third one is the kama trikon fourth one is the moksha trikon which means that when you are doing something related to the fourth house the eighth house and twelfth house also gets active or i would say get affected which simply means that if the dealings within the home is not good then what happens the dealings in the eighth house will not be good the dealings in the twelfth house will not be good now what is 12th house 12th house is opposite of the 6th house 12th house is the house of sleep because 6th house is the house of work and that is why 12th house is opposite so when your work ends you go and sleep yes and what is 8th house 8th house is the house of going to the toilet it is not the house of the toilet toilet is the 11th house but Eighth house represents cleaning of the bowels in the morning, and that means that if the atmosphere in the home is not good, then what should we do? We should try to improve it. I will tell you how to improve it. At the same time, if the fourth house is having trouble, that means it will affect the eighth house. This is very linked because if the fourth house is getting affected. then the second house will also get affected because it is 11th that means you are not gaining the ultimate profits of the fourth house that means probably you are not liking the food which you are eating food is the second house then you are not achieving it and then the problem goes to the eighth house or you are not enjoying the ambience of the food because your home is not good your family environment is not that good and then you are having problems in the morning in the bathroom <laughs> because of which your 12th house is getting affected you are not getting sleep your expenses are increasing because of the 12th house the 6th house is getting active which means that you are not able to work properly because of which the 10th house is getting uh, affected which means that you are not getting a promotion or rise in status because of which the second house of money is getting affected <laughs> so there you see how the structure is linked now the question is if the family atmosphere is not very good if there are frequent quarrels fights and trials and tribulations within the family what should we do can't do anything right helpless helpless beings with a horoscope can't change anything 
well fortunately that is not the case we can do our best what as per the scriptures advise us as per the suggestions of the scriptures and when scriptures are suggesting something it is not people like me or anybody or you doing something or trying something out of nowhere it is the timeless wisdom of the sages the saints the rishis munis yogis and the paramahamsas who are bestowing their divine light and wisdom upon us which means that when we follow them and when we follow what they say or we at least try to follow what they say then we see that there is change change in our lives change internally in our heart now let me ask you a question which is the original fourth house it is the number 4 sign sign of cancer right i think you got my hint <laughs> you guys are very intelligent now you have become very intelligent by learning astrology anyways you are i know that is why you are you, you are watching this because the very fact that anybody is watching this video that means he is connected to this channel which means he is connected to divinity astrology spirituality light wisdom otherwise why will he watch this video there is no use <laughs> but the very fact that you are watching proves that you are divine and i am not saying this to elate you or to um, unnecessarily give you some boast or boost but that is true because astrology is signified by the planet sun and sun is what direction positivity going ahead knowing what to do knowing what not to do including jupiter well i forgot what i was saying yes <coughs> what i was telling was which is the planet which gets exalted in the sign of cancer if you have not watched the series on exaltations then go to the playlist and watch the video on exaltations that means as we all know it is the great benefic jupiter which gets exalted in the sign of cancer that means because it is the sign of emotions and spirituality is best practiced when it is practiced with emotions and on the other hand when jupiter is in capricorn which is the sign of doing things without <laughs> having any emotions which is workplace right then jupiter suffers there on the other hand when jupiter is in cancer it is considered to be exalted which means that if you consider cancer as the original fourth house which it is definitely then jupiter is the planet which does best there because when jupiter is in the fourth house or if you consider it to be in the, in the sign of cancer suppose you take as fourth house then the environment is very good because jupiter is a benefic is the best of the benefics yes which simply means that when we introduce some spiritual practices within our family and we do it together because the saying goes remember that a family who eats together prays together stays together that means when we do spiritual practices together with the proper knowledge with the proper guidance with the proper intelligence not just sitting there and the pandit or the pujari has come and he is just chanting some mantras and we are like oh what is happening in facebook how many people have liked my photos no no not the way of capricorn it is the way of cancer how how does a mother love the child she forgets everything completely and she's like yes i'm there for you whatever you want me to do so in that way when we are in introducing god into our home by that what is happening we are bringing the positive energy the positive or the benevolence the beneficence of the greatest of all energies which is the energy of god which is represented by jupiter in the chart and that is ultimately blessing us with a great atmosphere in the home because when we understand how great god is then we will keep aside our own egos 
and then we will try to compromise and then the family atmosphere may not be very great but it will definitely improve and then when we learn the divinity of the sages we will learn to respect the elders and when the elders are responsible they are very dedicated towards the purpose of spiritual upliftment then they will organize their lives in such a way that their subordinates who are the children or grandchildren can also equally benefit and go ahead towards the spiritual journey with them and when you do this ultimately you go to the gain of the fourth house which is the second house which means if if the second house if the fourth house is having good influence then the second house will rise automatically okay i hope i could do some justice to your patient time <laughs> <laughs> the hearing which you have been doing from so long okay that is it from my side if you have any questions queries and comments then please let me know or else until next time bye bye see you